Hi, I'm Karen Massey with the California High Speed Rail Authority, and today we're talking to Boris Lipkin, who is the Northern California Regional Director for High Speed Rail. In Northern California, we're going to be operating on a blended system, and something that's going to go on in those sections is at grade crossings. So often we've seen in the past that people are injured or killed as they try to beat the train across the track, or when those crossing arms are coming down, they try to zigzag their way through. So Boris, what is High Speed Rail and Caltrain going to do to make sure that those at-grade crossings are safe? Certainly there are a lot of grade crossings on the, on the corridor. Uh, between San Francisco and San Jose, there's about 40, and there's another 30 between San Jose and Gilroy. And we want to make sure that as trains are going by, that cars, pedestrians, bicyclists uh, can't get on the rail corridor. And so what we've proposed is to modernize each of those grade crossings. And so what you can see is that there's crossing arms that are shown on both sides of the road. And uh, there's channelization and uh, bollards in the middle of the roadway uh, that will make sure and prevent cars or, or bicyclists or others from getting onto the tracks uh, or going around the arms as they're coming down um, as trains are passing by. Uh, this is uh, in uh, compliance with both uh, federal and state safety regulations for grade crossings. Uh, but of course, there's also lots of plans from local cities and jurisdictions uh, for potential grade separations. And, you know, we look forward to continue to work with uh, those who are advancing those projects on, on how to best uh, accomplish them and uh, continue to improve the safety and operations of the corridor over time. Thanks so much to you, Boris, and everyone else that's working on High Speed Rail that's making sure that when High Speed Rail trains start operating, it's going to be safe.